Kiki and I'm coming at you guys today because I got a request, well a lot of requests, to show how I install the clips inside of my U-Part wigs as well as how I install the U-Part wig on my head and blend it with my own hair and yeah. So if you want to see how I do that, stay tuned. So I'm just going to take the clip and you can get this clip like this from any beauty supply store. It's just a clip like this or you can get it from Sally's. I think they're three in a pack for two dollars or something like that. Um, you take it and with the side that opens out this way, this is the way you're going to place it on your cap. Here's your U part and you're going to place it right here. So, so I'm going to just take basic needle and thread, <coughs> uh, weaving needle and thread. And I am going to, um, so through the teeth of the comb or the clip, not through the holes because it's very difficult to get the end of the needle through. So I'm just going to sew through the combs. <clears throat> and I'd like to thank my girl Ashley. I'll put her YouTube channel annotated somewhere up in here. She told me um, because I was having trouble, you know, sewing through the holes. She was like, sew through the teeth of the comb. So I've been doing that and it works just as just fine. So, I have the needle knotted at the end. I'm sorry, the thread knotted at the end. Y'all excuse these nails now. Y'all wanted me to show y'all this. So, I am going to go through. And it doesn't matter to me if I go around the, the last weft that's laid. Oh, I hate this needle. So, I do that. And I go around in the same first, the first one twice. And pull it. And then I just go through every other teeth. Or you can go through every teeth, you can go through every other one. I am sewing through that top track weft right there. I'm sewing through the top one. But to me, that just makes it more sturdy, if you ask me. So I'm going to skip one and then just sew. I mean, go to the next one. And then I knot it. Like that. Put a knot. And then I just cut off the excess. And the clip is on there. And it's not going anywhere. It's very sturdy. Okay, so um, you guys wanted to know how I put the wig on with the clips. So, um, I want to show you guys how much leave out I have. Let me take this off. This is how much leave out I have out, which is my bangs. My bang area. These are the braids. Y'all, I'm getting better with these braids, baby. So I have two anchor braids on the side. And then I have my anchor braids right here, which is where I put my clips. And then the rest, I just have it braided up. I put the stocking cap on it so that, or the wig cap on it, whatever you call it, on it so that it holds my hair flat in the back. like that so that's what I do um, 
I got two bobby pins, which I'm going to use for my sides. I got my wig. Here are the clips. As you can see, my U is very small, but I still like quite a bit of leave out. So I can make my leave out very uh, even smaller, and it'll work with my U part. Um, as you see, I try to get as close to the part as I can with the braids so that I don't have to bond any hair or glue any hair in or anything like that. So, I pop the clips open. And on each U part, I do something different. Like, I never do the exact thing as far as the band. So, on this one, I cut the band off except for a little bit in the back, which I use that just to, like, kind of tuck underneath my braids in the back. So, I take it. And I always start with this side first. I don't know why. I just do. And I put it like that in and pop and I pull in And as you can see, I am very good on space. I like I don't need to put any tracks. I pull it down in the back and kind of fold that band, the band underneath my braids. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. If y'all can see it. I fold this piece underneath the braids like that just for some support and for it to blend a little better and then I pull the cap down take my body plan and I secure it on the anchor braid and I make sure that it's going um like this to the braid not through the braid but v-shaped to the braid like that and nothing it's not irritating me the clips don't irritate me the combs did start to but what i started doing was oiling my scalp or oiling my braid before i stick the comb in but with the clips i don't have to do that it doesn't give me any problems stick that one in there Take my wide tooth comb I don't know if y'all can see it good with this black shirt but yeah. I take my I leave out pretty much parted how I always wear it so I just follow that to comb my hair over Do that and I just take my brush and brush it down. Um, and I also have like a little bit of my edges out if you guys didn't see that, just a little bit, just so it'll blend. As you can see. No lumps, no bumps, no humps, no nothing. Flat as can be. I don't know why I went there though. <laughs> but flat as any sewing you could ever get.
and voila that's it Now, I haven't put any oils or anything in this hair since I had it installed. So, today I am going to put a little bit of this, the Moroccan Argan Oil from, or, or getting, from Organics. I haven't tried it yet. So, we'll see what it's about. And I'm just going to put... Looks like a lot, but it's not. I don't smell like argan oil. And this helps to eliminate frizz. So that's how I install my U parts, and that's how I put them on with clips. And I keep them on. I can keep this on all night, no problem. Sleep in it without any hesitation, without any problem. The hair is doing good so far, so I will still keep y'all updated. I love you guys, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.